the midterm elections are coming up, and with many citizens still scarred and needing emotional support after 2020, we turn to one of our writers, Jeff Wright, to help voters out. Let's take a look. All righty, welcome to the voter support group. As we all know, midterms are here, and this could be a really stressful time for voters. So today, we'll open up the floor for you to express your frustrations with voting. Who wants to go first? Uh, I'll go first. <clears throat> If you couldn't tell by my jeans and plaid shirt, I'm a Republican. Ooh. Come on now. Like I was saying, I'm a Republican. And being a Republican is hard. Everyone automatically assumes I'm a Trump supporter. Did you vote for Trump? I did. Come on, man. But not because I agree with him. You don't? No. Voting is like having a favorite football team. You got to stick with your team, even if your quarterback is under multiple criminal investigations. Who's your favorite football team? The Browns. Ooh. Yeah, I know. You can boo. It's fair. Let's move on. Who wants to go next? I'll go. Uh, I'm an old voter. And I don't like that everyone can vote. It's too easy now, and I hate it. Back in my day, you had to work hard to vote, and that vote meant something. Here we go again. It was a mission to get your vote in. You had to wake up before the sun, look for your shoes, then realize you already wearing them. Uh, then I'd walk seven miles through the snowstorm with the summer sun beaming on my back. It was hot. Snowstorm in the sun. And don't forget the goblin waiting in front of the booth now. You had to say, swipe or no swipe, swipe or no swipe. He still might not all let right, you that's all the time you have left. Well, I vote, I keep going. I bet you do. Who wants to go next? I'll go. Hi, everyone. I'm a Democrat, which means I love black people. Just not in my neighborhood. Hey, I'm with you on that. <laughs> I'm tired of people thinking just because I'm a Democrat, I would never vote for a Republican. Maybe I like what Republicans have to offer. Oh, what do you like that the Republicans offer? Well, they offer a lot of, um... <laughs> if you think about it, they, uh... uh I mean, Tom Brady once said, wait, is Tom Brady a Republican or is he just rich? And handsome. Rich and handsome. All right, let, let's move on. How about you next, young voter? I'm a young voter, which means I don't vote. Boo. Come on, hey, I thought you said no judgment. Mm -mm. That deserved a boo. All right, all right, sorry about that. Continue. I just don't know why they make it so hard. I got to stand in line in my old high school gym and use a pen like an old person on a Tuesday. I work on Tuesdays. You do? I mean, I could. I could work on Tuesday. Come on, man. And besides, even after an election these days, some people still don't accept the result. Like who? Like him. Huh. Care to chime in? Oh, no. I have plenty to say after the election. <clears throat> uh, I just want to say, when it comes to political parties, there are bad people on both sides. Whoa. Whoa. Shut up. There, there are good people on both sides, Whoa. too. Shut up. OK. I guess I'll just keep tweeting. And I'll borrow this. Maybe as a young voter, I'd be more inclined to vote if you could do it online. See, that's y'all problem. Y'all young kids want everything online. You want to vote online. You want your food online. You want your girlfriend online. Shoot, you want Netflix online. Netflix is online. Not mine. My Netflix is on my TV. Because your TV's online. Mm -mm, not me. I get my Netflix in a little envelope. Then I open it up. Then I blow on it, make sure it's still good. Then I put it inside what's called a DVD player. Y'all young kids don't know nothing about that. Because uh, we just watch it on our phones. Your phone? Your phone's a DVD player. This is a trick. Hold on. Sim! All right, is there anyone else that hasn't spoken? Hi, my name is Jeff, and I'm an alcoholic. Actually, I think I'm in the wrong room. Oh, no, you're in the right room. Siri! 